A couple days ago, it was revealed through She-Hulk Attorney at Law posters that Marvel Studios would be attending San Diego Comic-Con this year. And then it was confirmed by Kevin Feige himself. Steven Weintraub, the editor-in-chief over at Collider, then tweeted that he's been sitting on Marvel Studios coming to Comic-Con for over a month. The panel is Saturday night in Hall H, which is normally when Marvel appears. I heard they were going big and then heard they were just bringing one movie. If it's one movie, I'll wager it's Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Not sure what they actually decided on though. And I talked about this before in my last video. While SDCC was usually the big event where Marvel announced the big stuff, including slates, and in 2019, which was the last Comic-Con Marvel Studios attended for multiple different reasons, we got a huge Phase 4 slate reveal, as well as Kevin Feige mentioning Blade, the Fantastic Four, and the X-Men. This year though, we also have Disney Plus Day on September 8th, and then immediately after it, D23. So it would make sense for them to only show trailers for and promote a few projects before dropping the big stuff later in the year. And since the next movie after Thor Love and Thunder is Wakanda Forever, SDCC would be a great place to drop the first trailer. It would also be a good time to officially announce the Werewolf by Night Halloween special since that comes out this October, but still, as of now, hasn't been officially announced by Marvel Studios. Even though we know it's done filming, we know who's playing the main character and who some of the secondary characters are like Elsa Bloodstone, Blade, and Man-Thing, and we know who the director is. However, there's also of course the possibility that we get a huge announcement at SDCC and D23 is used as an opportunity to dive into more of the specifics like the plan for Phase 5 as well as release dates. It's definitely possible for Marvel Studios to start talking about and announcing projects or even the entire slate for Phase 5 even though Phase 4 doesn't technically end until the very end of 2023. After Black Panther Wakanda Forever, we still have plenty of Disney Plus shows and specials, as well as three more movies in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, and The Marvels. Then there's of course Blade and the Fantastic Four, either of which could possibly, maybe, by some miracle still be released in 2023 as well, or in 2024 beginning Phase 5. But let me know what you guys think about all this. What do you think Marvel Studios will show or announce at SDCC, and how excited are you for Phase 5? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you will never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.